hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this super amazing hair growth oil this hair growth oil is super effective for hair loss length retention it's amazing at moisturizing your hair i'm going to be using only two ingredients for this super effective hair growth oil as well as this all the ingredients i'm going to be using in today's video are all natural and won't cause any harm to your hair it's very affordable and very accessible as well so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it So the first ingredient for today's amazing hair growth oil is fresh aloe vera. So I started off by cutting the aloe vera plant. Then I went ahead and removed the sharp edges from the aloe vera leaves. So aloe vera contain vitamin A, C and E. All three of those vitamins contribute to cell turnover, promoting healthy cell growth and add shine to your hair as well. Aloe vera also contain B12 and folic acid. Those two components can also keep your hair from falling out. Aloe vera moisturize your hair. It increase blood circulation to the follicles, which lead to hair growth. It's amazing at treating dandruffs. Aloe vera also work as natural conditioner and it's also amazing at treating hair loss. So I went ahead and cut the aloe vera into small pieces. So if you can't find the fresh aloe vera leaves, you can also use aloe vera powder as well. But I would suggest you should use the fresh aloe vera leaves. Once I'm done cutting the aloe vera into smaller pieces, I transfer the aloe vera into a bowl. Our next ingredient for this hair growth oil is rosemary leaves. So rosemary is amazing for our natural hair. I went ahead and rinsed off the rosemary. So remember to rinse off your rosemary before using it. If you don't have fresh rosemary leaves, it's fine. You can also use the dry rosemary leaves, but I always suggest always use the fresh rosemary leaves. You can also use the, the powder rosemary leaves as well. If you can't get hold of fresh rosemary leaves. So once I'm done washing the rosemary leaves, I went ahead and transferred the rosemary leaves into the bowl with the aloe vera. So rosemary is amazing for our hair. It helps to regrow the hair. It increases hair volume. It controls hair fall. It's amazing for dandruffs and it helps to treat hair loss as well. So once I'm done, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and transferred the rosemary and the aloe vera into the blender. I'm also going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of peppermint leaves. So this part is optional, okay? So you don't have to add peppermint leaves if you don't want to. And if you do, you can purchase your peppermint leaves on Amazon. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and closed the blender. Then I'm going to blend all the ingredients together for a few minutes. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So after blending the ingredient together, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer the mixture into a bowl. So you can use this mixture as a deep treatment or as a deep conditioner. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make hair growth oil with this mixture. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of olive oil. Olive oil is one of my favorite oil of all time. It's really amazing. It stimulates hair growth. It reduces split end. 
it treats dandruffs it adds shine to your hair and it moisturizes your hair like never before you can add any oil of your choice add whatever oil that works best for your hair type so don't feel the need to use the same oil that i'm using in this video if olive oil doesn't work for you don't add it add whatever oil that your hair loves i'm also going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of coconut oil coconut oil is a natural ways to help your hair to grow longer thicker and faster it stimulates hair growth the vitamins and the essential fatty acid found in coconut oil nourish the scalp and helps to remove build up from your hair follicles I'm also going to be adding one and a half cup of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has been shown to boost hair growth due to omega-6 fatty acid containing in grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil can strengthen your hair, it restores shine, it reduces frizz, it increases moisture to your hair, it nourishes the scalp and it fights against dandruffs or any scalp conditions that you may be experiencing. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix all the ingredients together. Once I'm done mixing all the ingredients together, I went ahead and transferred the bowl to a pot of water. So today's video, I'm going to be doing the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to infuse slash cook for about 30 minutes so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing to my channel in this channel I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and also if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after 30 minutes this is how it looks like I went ahead and off the cooker I'm going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes before straining the oil out this is how it looks like once it's done cooling down use whatever you have to strain it out but i would suggest whatever you're going to use to strain it out make sure it has a tiny hose so that you don't have any particles from the aloe vera rosemary and the peppermint leaves in your oil so guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'm also going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of Jamaican black castor oil. So this part again is optional. If you don't want to add Jamaican black castor oil, you don't have to. We all know the benefit of Jamaican black castor oil. It's really amazing at strengthening your hair. And it's also amazing, especially if you're experiencing hair breakage, thinning hair, if your edges are pulling out or you have any particular area that are bald spots, just apply Jamaican black castor oil and massage those area. Those area would definitely grow back in no time. So as always, I always mention this in all my videos, consistency is the key. You need to be consistent if you want to see results. If you're not consistent, I'm sorry guys, you're not going to see results. Once I'm done, this is how it looks like. Now your oil is ready to be used. Once I'm done, I went ahead and transferred it to an applicator bottle for easy use. So this oil can be used in so many ways. The oil is really versatile. So there's different ways which you can use it. But today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this oil as a hot oil treatment. So remember guys, hot oil treatments means that the oil needs to be warm slash hot before applying it to your scalp. So when I mean the oil needs to be hot, so make sure the oil is warm not too hot that it burns your scalp okay so at the moment the oil is still warm enough for me to use it as an hot oil treatment so i'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the entire scalp you can also use this hair growth oil as a pre pull treatment apply it to your hair before wash day you can also use this oil to seal in moisture apply it to your scalp your edges at night then you can wash it out the next day or you can just leave it in to moisturize your hair and scalp. 
So guys, don't forget to massage your scalp as this is very important as a study has shown that scalp massage helps to promote hair growth and stimulate blood circulation to your scalp. I also use this oil as a deep conditioner and deep treatment as well. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so, comment in the comment section if you have any question for me. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.